This tutorial is about automatic ball strips. The principle is that you have a strip of card and it's stuck to one side. As the page opens, the strip goes across the other page, under and out again. And as the page opens, it pulls that strip. And so this end that's moving can be used to make it raise up a bowing shape, raise up a flap, raise up a parallelogram. It, you know, it has all these uses. So I'll show you examples of these other ones. So here's one. This is raising up a bowing shape. And in this case, the, the strip that's pulling, it just goes underneath. This edge is stuck down and it goes through a slot underneath there, but it doesn't actually go under the page, which means this end, this side here, can tend to lift up a bit. But in, in this example, it's actually behaving pretty well. This is another example. Here's the strip. If you look at it this way, you can see it does go under the page and come out again, and that lifts this flap, which then lifts this parallelogram. And then in this example, here it is. This is the, the pull strip pulling up this bowing shape, and because it's a curved shape, you can stick straight pieces of card onto it at different points on the curve, and they will all lift up at different angles. So. I'll just show you one more example of the mechanism. This is the most simple. This is Worms Wiggle by David Pelham. And as you open this page, it pulls the snake right across. So now we'll just make the simplest kind. So you'll need a, a base sheet, something like this, fold it in half, Grease it really thoroughly. Right, now take another sheet of card and just cut it in half lengthways. So draw a couple of guidelines. Use your ruler to draw a couple of parallel guidelines down the length of it. Put the ruler in the middle. Draw the two guidelines. Right. Now fold a, a tab onto one end. This is a gluing tab, so it's about half an inch wide or one centimetre. Fold that really well. The other end cut off about an inch. Two and a half centimetres, something like that. Just make it slightly shorter. And fold a gluing tab onto that as well. Right, now take your base sheet. Put one end against the crease. So it's like this. Here's the central gully of the base sheet. And now fold it over. So it's just within the outer edge of the card. So that when the, when the thing is flat, it doesn't, doesn't jut out. Now, on the long side, this is where the strip's going to be. On this long side, just draw a little guideline here. Again, it's about one centimetre in. This helps the whole thing move more smoothly when you stick it together. Now take a craft knife or scissors and cut out the strip just a couple of millimetres on the inside of these guidelines so that the, the strip you're making is just going to be slightly narrower than the guidelines you've drawn. And then cut along that second, second guide. Right. Now at the other end, take out a piece in between the two guidelines. And this one, you start just a couple of mil or a millimetre above the fold line and take it to a millimetre or two outside the guidelines. So you're getting a, a wider gap here. And now you can, you can just trim all these gluing tabs, just take those corners off.
Okay, now just fold it over. This is your piece with a crease there. Just just fold it over and make sure that the that the pull strip fits snugly between these two. So when, when you pull it, it all just moves moves easily. There's some clearance between the strip and these two tabs. Take your base sheet. Lay it in place. So you've got the very tip of the of the pull strip up against the central gully. Now these two tabs fold underneath. You put glue on them both, glue them at the same time. So they're going to be folded underneath like that. Put glue on them both. All the tabs on this mechanism take quite a lot of stress. So make sure the the glue goes right up to the creases and you know that they they are well glued. Put it underneath, put the tip of the pull strip up against the spine, press it down. Okay, and you can just test that it's working. You can now you can just pull this and make sure that it is lifting up okay. So that's lifting up all right. Now you put glue with the tab flat, you put glue on the top of the tab. This tab really takes a lot of stress, so make sure this is very, very well glued. And now you can close the base, so it's going to find its natural sticking position. Give it a moment for the glue to, to go off, and then open it up. So there's your bowing shape. And then, yeah, if you want, you can stick pieces onto, onto this, so you can see the, the different angles that lift up according to where you stick them. And you can stick them on either side of this, but if you stick them on this side coming up this way, they're more likely to bash into the base as it, as it closes. So the easiest one is to have them coming up this way. And you just need a little bit of glue. These don't take any stress at all. So there's one, stick one on the, on the top. I'll stick at a completely different angle. You can stick one halfway up. So you can see that's something you can really, really play with. And yeah, as you see, I've done them a bit long on this rough, so they do jut out. You've also got a gully here, so you can you can stick other pop-ups into that. So here we have. Um, Help the Animals of South America by Robert Sabuda. And the very first one, he's played with this idea of having the pieces stuck onto the, the um, rounded shape to make these scales. And as it closes, opens and closes, those all lift up at different angles. The next one is, is Flying Machines by Ib Penick. And here's the spread. And so this is the curved shape. Here's the strip, it's glued down on this side. It goes across the spine, dives under the page there. Then it'll come up again underneath the balloon and be attached to this side of the balloon. So as the page opens, the balloon goes up. So if we look at it this way, you can probably see underneath here, you'll see the, the strip coming up underneath the balloon. There's another example further on. Um, I'll just go through the book and we'll have a look. So um, this is the one we've just looked at, um, not this one, this one. So here, here and here, these are two, the, this is, for this one, here's the strip, it's attached to this side of the page, goes across the spine, goes underneath immediately, goes right across, comes up there, underneath the wing of Concord, pulls up the flap, and then the Concord is built onto a parallelogram. So on this one, the strip is attached here on, on uh, this side of the page. And then it, it goes across the spine and goes underneath. And then here you can see it comes up and it's lifting a flap, which is then lifting parallelogram. If I hold it up like that, you can see, see the parallelogram lifting that and the uh, helicopter is stuck on top of the parallelogram. So that's that one. Next one is um, Wizard of Oz. There's a couple of examples in here. So this one, 
it's a multiple strip. It's all pulled by this. This here is the uh, is the strip that's stuck to this side. It goes underneath. Under the back of the page, there's a whole series of, of pull strips. They all come up through the page and then lift these poppy flowers up. And you can see this bird, the wing. Here's the strip emerging from the page. As, as the page opens, you see that that strip is disappearing back under the page, pulling up the bird wing. And then a bit further on, here we are. This is the curved shape. The sorry, we move that out of the way. The strip is is behind here. It's hidden behind this flying monkey or whatever it is. It's stuck to this side. Goes across the spine under the page. And then if we look look up inside the tower, you'll see here there is the there is the strip emerging and pulling on this side and pulling the tower in, into a curved shape. And then we've got uh, Little Red Riding Hood by Bruce Foster. And on this one, this wolf head is moved by a pull strip. As you open the flap, you can see here's the strip. It flips the wolf head over. And the strip is attached to this flap here. It's attached behind the explosion, goes under the page, comes up again. So as the flap opens, it turns the wolf head over. And then the last one is the very end of the book. It's the last page. It's the, the strip is attached to this side. It's hidden underneath the cat. It goes through, through a, a hole in the, um, in the curve shape, comes across, uh, is attached to the curve shape and pulls it up. And then the, the, all these pieces are taking advantage of the, of the curve to give you pieces lifting up at, at different angles. And, uh, the next book is um, The Night Before Christmas, Robert Sabuda. And at the very end, you've got this quite spectacular winter scene. It, this, is a, this is a V fold lifting up these ones, but it's these two houses. These are raised by the, the automatic pull strip. So they are actually underneath the bridge and they come across. As you see, as it's closed, they all shut down. So as it opens, the pull strips, you can see that that under the bridge, they go under the page, hidden pull strips. One is attached this side, goes underneath and pulls up this house. And this one, the strip is attached this side, goes underneath, pulls up this end wall, which then raises the parallelogram that pulls the whole house into shape. And finally, um, there's uh, Blue 2 by David Carter. And this has got a whole series of... Um, open top shapes that are dealt with in tutorial 18. So this is it. All the strips are really, really obvious here. You can see them coming out of the page. Looking at it this way round, you can see how it's attached on this side, goes underneath on this side, comes up again and pulls up this, this open top shape. So there's, there's just a whole, a whole array of them, four pull strips. You can just see really clearly how they're all working. If you look look at it end on, look, you can you can just see them all. They're all just moving like that and pulling these pulling these cones up into shape. So that's it for pull strips. Pull strips are covered in this my book, Pop Up Design and Paper Mechanics.